Thank you very much. Thank you. Honorable Member Sri N.K. Premier. It's not. Mike, Thank uh, you very much, sir, for uh, giving me the chance to take part in the discussion on the bill. It's a very important bill, according to me. The Public Examinations Prevention of Unfair Means Bills 2024. Sir, my first suggestion to the Honorable Minister is kindly send this bill to the Parliamentary Standing Committee for close scrutiny of the bill. Because the bill is against the basic principles of criminal jurisprudence. As rightly pointed out my learned friend just now, there is no substantive law for the public examination, the conduct of the public examinations. Already there is a law, but you are bringing a substantive law so as to combat the issue, so as to address the issue, I fully support. But if you go through the bill, the drafting of the bill, the content of the bill, it can very well be seen that it is against the principles of criminal jurisprudence. I will I will, I will explain it one by one. Sir, what, what is the intent of the bill? Intent of the bill, I fully agree with the, the, There is no bad intention on the part of the government in bringing such a punitive bill that is giving more punishment, grave punishment for the malpractices in, in doing in the public examinations. Transparency in examination for recruitment as well as admission to higher educational institution is highly essential. It is need of the hour. Yes, at, the, at present there is no specific substantive law to deal the unfair means or offences conducted by the various examination, public examination agencies. So, sir, there are 20 offences and unfair means have been identified in this bill. It is including impersonation, manipulation of answer sheets and also and tampering with the documents. All these things will come within the purview of Indian Penal Code. Specific offences are there in the Indian Penal Code, but you are coming with a substantive law, there is no problem. But you see the condom of punishment being provided in the bill is disproportionate. That is the first objection which I would like to make. Because the imprisonment which you have mentioned is, which you have given for each and every unfair means, is three to five years. Unfair means, if any unfair means is adopted, it is three to five years it is, if it is done by an individual. And it will be up to five to ten years if it is an organized crime. Sir, there lies the condom of punishment. For example, unfair means is, what are the unfair means it is explained in clause three. Sir, you kindly go through clause, subclause eight and subclause twelve of clause three. That is, subclause 8, willful violation of norms or standards set up by the central government or conduct of an examination on its own through its agency. So what are the norms to be stipulated if any violation of any norms, he will be given a punishment for 3 to 5 years. Any officials can be targeted. See, violation of the norms, basic deviation from the violation of the norms, the condom of punishment will be three to five years, and the punishment penal fine will be more than uh, up to five lakhs, uh, up to ten lakhs rupees. And if it is organized, this will go up to ten, uh, one crores of rupees, and the imprisonment will be from five to ten years. And similarly, if you go through subclause twelve of clause three, manipulation in seating arrangements, you kindly see that definitions are very exhaustive. It can be interpreted in any way. If you are preparing in the seating arrangements of the students and allocation of dates and shifts for the candidates to facilitate adopting unfair means on examination, then also this quantum of punishment is too much. That is why I am, I am, I am requesting the Honorable Minister have a close scrutiny, legal scrutiny of this bill so as to have a proper criminal jurisprudence in the bill also. Otherwise, it will be totally disproportionate. Suppose a student just copying, just copying or having a murmuring with the neighboring student, then the punishment is too much. This is totally disproportionate. That is the reason by which I raise my subjection. And regarding the legal drafting also, kindly go through, kindly go through clause 8, subclause 3, the proviso. The proviso to subclause 3 of clause 8, that is offensive stated, then you are saying that provided nothing contained in this subsection shall render any such person liable to any punishment under this act if he proves that 
the offense was committed without his knowledge and that he exercised all due diligence to prevent the commission of such offense. Sir, it is a basic criminal jurisprudence. Why should it be put in there? If he proves that it is without his knowledge, this act was done and he has acted everything and he has applied his mind in due diligence. Why should this proviso is there after, after putting the punishment? The same, madam, the same thing is being repeated in clause 4 of clause 10, subclause 4 of clause 10. Nothing contained this section shall render any such person liable to any punishment under the act if he proves that the offense was committed with his knowledge and that he exercised all due diligence to prevent the commission of such an offense. What does it indicate? That means if he proves that you are innocent, you will be, that nothing will be applicable. Why this proviso is being incorporated in a bill, such a, such a, such a very important bill, for which also I have given 10 amendments to this bill. Kindly go through the amendments. Most of them are harmless amendments that has to be looked into. That is why once again I am requesting to the Honorable Minister that all this unfair means, I'm, since the passage of time, I am not going to explain all these things. You go through clause 3, almost all the provisions, if you directly or indirectly assisting the candidate in any manner, unauthorizedly in the public examination, then you will be punishable with the three to five years of imprisonment. So this is the way by which the definitions and unfair means are being described. This definition and unfair means is very exhaustive, can be interpreted in any manner. So that has to be re-looked into. I am not doubting the intention of the government to address this issue, but at the same time, these reservations has to be looked into in a, with, a, with a close scrutiny. With this word, with this word, I conclude. Thank you very much, ma'am.